Hi students, my name is Ms. Gardner and I teach science at Riverside High School. Today, we're gonna investigate the difference between a chemical and a physical property. So go ahead and get out a sheet of paper or your chemistry notebook and start by titling your notes, physical and chemical properties. So let's start with the physical property. This is your first definition that you're gonna write down. A physical property is a characteristic of a material that you can observe without changing the identity of the material. So some examples of that are color, shape, size, density, or the melting or the boiling point of the material. So let's apply that to these three objects in front of me. So here I could describe this as round, also kind of hard in texture. I have this balloon here that is pink in color and it is stretchy, or this ball of yarn that is soft and white. Another physical property that is uh, intrinsic or part of materials would be if it is or is not magnetic. All right, so let's look at a couple examples of physical properties. So I have two cubes here, one of brass and one of steel. They're both the same size, they have the same volume, but let's take their mass. So if I put my brass on the balance, it shows that it's 135.04 grams. Now, let's compare that to the steel. That's 125 grams. So we saw that these two substances have a different density. These also have different magnetic properties. Brass, for instance, which is a mixture of copper and zinc, does not attract this magnet. However, steel, which is a mixture of iron and carbon, does have magnetic properties. So those are two physical properties that could distinguish these two substances. Sometimes the physical properties of a substance can tell you what type of element it is. So for instance, metals are often malleable, meaning they're bendable. So I have some copper wire here and I can stretch this into a straight wire or I can curl this up. If I hit this with a hammer, this copper wire wouldn't shatter. It would just dent or bend. So other metals like aluminum and tin also are malleable. So in contrast, non-metals are often brittle, meaning they shatter easily. So let's take a look at an example here. I have a piece of sulfur, which is a non-metal, and when I hit it with a hammer, it shatters into a bunch of pieces. If you were here in class, you could also smell the sulfur. It would smell a little bit like rotten eggs. That's another physical property of the substance. It has a foul smell. So knowing the different physical properties of substances is incredibly helpful when you want to separate a mixture. So a lot of chemistry is all about purifying and separating substances. And usually we do that by exploiting the physical properties. So let me give you an example. All right, so I have some water here. I'm gonna drop a couple nails in here. And I'm also gonna put a little bit of salt in there. All right, so let's say we had some kind of mixture. Maybe this is an example of some contaminated drinking water. So the ways that we can separate these things are all based on physical properties. So I can use the magnetic properties of the nails to remove them from the salt and the water. So now, if I wanted to separate the salt from the water, I can also use the physical properties of these two substances to separate them. But how can I get the salt out of this? Well, this is actually a process that's done all around the world to remove salt from water to make it drinkable. It's called desalination, and it really just uses physical properties, the melting and boiling point of these two substances, to separate them. So, let's boil off the water and see what we have left behind. A chemical property is a characteristic of a material that relates to its reactivity or its ability to change. Some examples of chemical properties are the flammability of a substance, its reactivity to light or acid, its reactivity to oxygen, so if maybe it rusts easily or does not, 
The toxicity of a material is also a chemical property as well as the reactivity with water. All right, so let's consider some chemical properties. So remember, chemical properties are concerning the reactivity of a substance. So I've put two elements into these test tubes with some hydrochloric acid. As you can see, there are bubbles forming in the tube that has the metal in it. So metals are reactive with acids. Compared to sulfur over here, there's no reaction happening with the acid. These have different reactivities. So another chemical property of substances are its flammability. So here I have two different fabrics that are common fabrics that we all have as part of our clothes. So here I have a piece of 100% cotton, and then I also have a piece of polyester. Let's see how each of these react when I set them on fire. All right, so let's see how 100% cotton reacts when I set it on fire. All right, so it quickly catches on fire and it burns. So now compare that to how polyester reacts when I set it on fire. Polyester is made from plastics, so it actually melts. Before catching on fire. All right, students, well, make sure you've answered all the questions in the Ed Puzzle and that you have reviewed your notes. And next time, look around your house, see if you are observing chemical or physical properties of what's around you.